So this is a really short and sweet yoga practice for those of you who don't have much time. Aiming for around 10 to 12 minutes or so. Make sure you do warm up your wrists though before you get into this little flow. But it's a great one to incorporate if you are sitting down a lot or if you have only a short amount of time like in your lunch break. But any movement is good movement. So we are actually going to start straight into a downward facing dog. So again, making sure, <laughs> making sure your wrists are really nice and warm, spreading your fingers nice and wide. And coming down to your mat, lifting up your hips, creating an upside down V and starting to bend and walk out your hips. So starting to move one side to the other. And just especially if you have been sitting, bend your knees a lot and press your chest back towards your thighs. All right, from this downward facing dog, let's slowly tiptoe our feet towards our hands. A really nice stretch of the posterior chain, especially if we have been sitting. Take three breaths here in your dangle. So from your dangle, breathe in, breathe out, soften, breathe in, lengthen, breathe out, soften. Breathe in, lengthen, breathe out, soften. We'll just go through one sound salutation. So breathing in, peel up the spine, reach tall. Breathe out, soften and fold. Breathe in, halfway lift, flat back. Breathe out, step back to your version of high plank, knees or toes, your choice. Full breath in, protract the shoulders. And exhale, either child's pose, always an option, or knees, chest, chin. Breathe in, cobra. Breathe out, downward facing dog. We'll actually go through one more, so another variation. Breathe in, come onto tiptoes. Breathe out, bend the knees, look forward, and slowly step between your hands. Breathe in, half lift. Breathe out, fold forward. Breathe in, press through the feet, rise tall. Breathe out, soften and fold. Breathe in, halfway. Breathe out, step back, high plank, knees or toes. You can either take that option that we just did before or full breath in, shift forward. Come all the way down or halfway. Inhale, cobra or upward facing dog. Breathe out, down dog. From here, just a little bit of hip opening, right leg lifts, inhale. Exhale, bend and open and just some slow hip circles. Again, just being a short 10 or so minute practice. Our hips are so important, especially if you've been sitting down. So it's a really nice way to find an opening into the hip. So inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, bring the knee to the nose, right foot outside, right hand. Breathe in, open up the right hand. Exhale, sweep the hand behind. Breathe in, step left foot outside, left hand. And exhale, squirt. Inhale, come all the way up to stand. And exhale, fold forward. From here, inhale, half lift. Exhale, step back, high plank. Breathe in, protract. Exhale, coming down on knees, chin, chest. Breathe in, cobra or up dog. Breathe out, down dog. Left leg lifts, inhale. Bend and open, exhale. And slowly start to find some really slow, delicious, Hip circles, you can always drop down that right knee and do it this way too. Just working through opening that hip. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, knee to nose, left foot outside, left hand. Breathe in, open the left hand. Breathe out, reach back. Breathe in, step right foot outside, right hand. And exhale, squat pose. From here, Forward fold, three breaths. Wriggle your feet back underneath the hips. Let it go. Bring your 
Wriggling your feet together now, big toes touch, heels slightly apart. Inhale, sweep up to find your chair pose, Ukkatasana. Tuck your tailbone under here. Full breath in, full breath out. Press down through your right heel, inhale. Bring your left knee up to balance, stalk pose. On your exhale, go around the joint. Again, to give your hips some space. It's a ball and socket joint, not a hinge. And we slowly step back and find our present pose. Back to be toes down. Breathe in, find your crescent. So just a couple of breaths here, just in this first one. Just establishing the pose, press down with your right heel. Have a soft knee bend in that back leg so we can get into the hip flexor and the psoas. Take a full breath in and then slowly shift forward and find your airplane pose. You're taking your time here, palms face down, maybe open your chest. Full breath in, step back warrior two. So chasing the back of the mat, the laid edge of the back foot goes down and opening up into your Virabhadrasana two. Inhale, flip your front palm in reverse. Keep that right knee nudging open. Exhale, left hand comes down, right hand comes up, twist open here. And then placing left hand to the, right hand to the ground, step back high plank. Always optional exhale, low plank. Breathe in, cobra or upward facing dog. Breathe out, down dog. Breathe in onto your tiptoes. Breathe out, bend your knees, look forward, make your way to your hands. Half lift, inhale. Exhale, fall forward. Big toes touch heels apart, inhale, chair pose. Stay with your exhale. Push down through the left foot, inhale, bring the right knee up, stalk pose. Exhale, going around the joint. Slowly stepping back, high crescent lunge. Breathe in, opening up, three breaths here, having that really nice stretch down now, the right hip flexor and push down with the left heel. Take a full breath in and exhale, find your airplane pose. Oh, fall out of it like what I just did. Palms face down, draw those shoulders back. Notice how this feels to open the chest, take a breath in, step back slowly, find your warrior two. Late edge of the back foot goes down, left knee nudges open, so external rotation and internal rotation of the back. Inhale, flip and reverse. Exhale, cartwheel down, right hand down, left hand up, inhale. And exhale through your vinyasa or skip it, high plank to low plank. Cobra or up dog, breathe in. And exhale, down dog. We'll go through one more time for this short little sequence. Inhale onto your tiptoes, exhale, make your way. Clean your hands halfway, breathe in. And exhale, fall forward with breath, chair pose, inhale. Stay for your exhale. Inhale, left knee comes up. Exhale, around the joint, step back to high crescent lunge. Full breath in. As you exhale, airplane pose. One breath only here. Exhale, step back, warrior two. Inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, lens. Breathe in, flip and reverse. Exhale, cartwheel. Coming down, either twisting here or maybe all the way over to your wild thing. Take a full breath in and exhale, making your way through your vinyasa, high to low chaturanga. Inhale and exhale. Whew. From here, taking a moment to look forward, bend those knees. Jump step, float, fly between your hands halfway. And exhale, fold last time through, chair pose, inhale. Stay for your exhale. Press down through the left foot, breathe in, right knee lifts. Exhale, around the joint. Slowly step back, high lunge. Full breath in. Exhale, coming forward, Dekasana, airplane. Inhale. Exhale, find warrior two. Inhale, 
and exhale. Inhale, flip and reverse. Exhale, cartwheel down, right hand down, left hand up, either here or make your way over. Find your way into your wild thing. One breath in and then exhale, last vinyasa, slowly moving through. Inhale, cobra or up dog. And then find a child's pose, breathe out. Pull in, pull out. Sliding yourself forward. Just finding five breaths here in a sphinx pose again. For those of you that don't have much time or have to sit a lot, hello. This sphinx pose is really important. It's such a great one to get some really great compression and um, hyaluronic acid and nutrient-rich blood into the spine. Just work to a degree that works for you. For more onto the spine and especially the yin poses, which are so important for us all. I have about 30 yin yoga videos, so feel free and I will attach one of the, um, in the comments in this video. But if you do find you have a lot of yarn or fastness or busyness in your life, then yin yoga is your key. Take one more breath, maybe stretching up a little higher if that's there for you. And then exhale, coming down to the ground. And just flopping over onto your backs, just a gentle twist to finish. So from here, just bending the knees, letting the knees flop over to the right. You can turn your head to the left. Taking three breaths here in a very simple supine twist. Inhale, bring the knees back up to the centre and exhale, let them fall to the other side as your gaze shifts, possibly to the opposite side and three deep breaths. Any time that you can take out for yourself is precious. And to give back to others, we need to give back to ourselves first. We cannot pour from an empty cup. So thank you for taking the time out for you. Just feel free to come up to a seat and just take five breaths seated. Again, just before you go back into your day, take a moment to just be still. So focusing on your breath in for the count of four, three, two, one, and pause. Breathe out, four, three, two, one, and pause. Breathe in. Pause. Breathe out. Take two more rounds in your own. One of my favourite quotes is from Ido Portal and he says that if you don't move then one day you might not be able to. So do the things every single day that help you with your longevity, your energy and your vitality by giving back to yourselves. Namaste and thank you. Please subscribe uh, if you enjoyed this little practice and let me know how you go into the comments.